From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. The threat for heavy rain is in the forecast for this upcoming weekend. I'm student meteorologist David Witten with a look at what you can expect. We'll first take a look at a live view of Beaver Stadium, and currently we do have overcast skies at this hour with a temperature of 48 degrees. Notice that the dew point and feels like temperature is coming in at 43 degrees as winds are out of the northeast at 13 miles per hour. We'll take a look at temperatures across the rest of the Commonwealth, and currently Pittsburgh is coming in at 57 degrees, Yuri is coming in at 54 degrees, and back in eastern Pennsylvania, we can see that Allentown and Philadelphia are coming in at 60 degrees. We'll take a look at the latest radar and satellite image, and currently we do have overcast skies across most of the Commonwealth at this hour, with a few showers working their way northward across southeastern and south central Pennsylvania. And if we take a look at the latest a wider view of the radar and satellite image, we can see here's that frontal boundary currently stalled just off the eastern seaboard, and this is what will produce some heavy rain once we head towards the weekend. We'll take a look at a view of Hurricane Joaquin, and currently Joaquin is looking very healthy on the visible satellite image, and if we take a look at the latest advisory information, we can see that Joaquin is a major hurricane in that Category 3 status, with winds at 125 miles per hour. The storm is currently moving to the southwest at six miles per hour, and the pressure is all the way down to 942 millibars. If we take a look at the latest NHC track as far as where Hurricane Joaquin is going to go, we can see that as we make our way towards Friday, it is quite possible that Joaquin will strengthen once more and become a Category 4 hurricane before it starts to weaken as we head towards Saturday as a Category 3 hurricane. But once we make our way towards Sunday and Monday, that is when a lot of uncertainty still remains as anywhere from the Outer Banks northward still needs to monitor Joaquin very closely. However, the National Hurricane Center track has started to shift east and it's quite possible this track will shift even further east as the storm may very likely head out to sea and not be a direct impact as we head towards Sunday and Monday of next week. We'll take a look at the latest future cast. And as we head through today, notice a lot of those clouds will continue to stick around. But once we make our way towards the evening, the rain will start to build northward from the south as we head into Friday with overcast skies. But once we head through Friday afternoon into Friday evening, that is when some of that heavy rain will start to make its way northward across the Commonwealth during rush hour. And as we head through Friday night into Saturday morning, periods of moderate to heavy rain can be expected before that rain starts to slowly taper off as we head through Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. And once we make our way towards Sunday morning, a few spotty showers are still possible, but conditions will be overcast as we head through the day. We'll take a look at your forecast for today and expect overcast skies with a possible stray shower with a high of 57 degrees. As we head through this evening, overcast skies will remain with a low of 47 degrees. We'll take a look at your seven-day forecast, and as we head into Friday and Saturday, that is when a lot of that heavy rain can be expected for a few showers still possible on Sunday. But as we head towards next week, we can expect overcast skies on Monday for a mix of sun and clouds into Tuesday and Wednesday. And as far as those temperatures, we will remain in the 50s through Saturday, so it is certainly going to be on the chilly side. But once we head into next week, we will climb up into the 60s, so it will feel a little warmer, although still chilly, especially at night. We'll take a look at your forecast for the Penn State game, and we are expecting some rain, especially in the morning and early afternoon, with a high of 52 degrees. That is all that I have for today. For the Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist David Wynn. Have a great day.